Hello and welcome. Jiu-Jitsu warm-ups, are they a waste of time? One school of thought posits that spending 5, 10, 15 minutes warming up prior to the technique section is a waste of precious time, as students will warm up during the technique section. I would like to give some thoughts from a medical point of view. There are two types of warm-ups. First will be the jujitsu specific movements, such as technical stands, bridges, hip escapes. I would argue that these are important for all students as they train the neuromuscular system to ingrain these movements as second nature during drilling and sparring. The second type of warm-ups are the non-jujitsu specific movements such as running laps around the mat, push-ups, crunches, lunges, squats, etc. In this particular case, from a medical point of view, I think the value depends. If you have a class of mature students, let's say 40 and over, the likelihood that these students engage in off-mat strength and conditioning is pretty low. So if you have them run a few laps, a set of push-ups, dips, crunches, lunges, squats, etc., that may be the only strength and conditioning that they do all week. If your next class is a competition drilling class where the students are 18 to 35 years old, Obviously, the vast majority of serious competitors already engage in off-mat strength and conditioning. So these non-jujitsu specific warm-ups would probably be a waste of time for them. So from a medical point of view, I think jujitsu specific movements are important for all jujitsu students. But the non-jujitsu specific movements would be of value to beginners or older students who do not engage in off-mat strength and conditioning.